Now I spent all my time in World of Warcraft Classic and this amazing universe that I really encourage you to join. Hi everyone, my name is Christina Branchugola and I'm leading global brand communication team at Kaspersky. We are looking for the growth areas for development of our brand, guardians of our brand guidelines and real fans of consistency. Usually for the big brands that we can learn from, uh, it helps for them to build uh, the connection between their customers, business partners and themselves while they're starting to talk with them like with person. They're caring about people, they understand and share their behaviors, they support their aspirations and they talk the same language actually, the language that people really understand and even joke in a way that people can understand. And this is crucial for the brands. I think one of the nice examples will be gaming brands. I'm a fan of them, so uh, how they communicate to their, their players. It's something very personal and very much about content. Maybe you know the messenger that called Discord. That's one of the many messengers. But this one is created especially for gamer audience. And this one, when you join it, you understand that the features are adapted to the gamer's needs, that you can see in uh, which games playing your friends, but moreover, then you join the new member, join the channel, that every time they have the different line describing uh, like that is this person joined. And it sounds really funny, it's something like, Hey Christy, we see your gun, just put it near the enter, put it here and then you can join. Or like, we see Christy joining us as a kangaroo. That's something that sounds from one hand stupid, from another hand that's funny. And the reason behind that, that is starting the good point for the further conversation. That's what we can learn from a lot of brands. Good brands and brand ambassadors and everything that's connected to the brand, they don't talk with target audience, they talk with people. And this is key. They talk with people in a language that they understand and build the new way of emotional connection with them. And as a result, people feel attached and connected to the brands. For me, it's for the marketer, is quite interesting to highlight. Venues and uh, brand and naming, I guess. Each guild has their own name and each guild are different because of the atmosphere created by the different people who are there, because of like their activity. In one guilds are raiding guilds, they are raiding uh, every, like, every second day, preparing for this. Uh, another one has the nice atmosphere with uh, like helpful people, mainly there for socializing. And uh, even in the name of the guild, you can recognize what, what you can expect over there. For example, taking two guilds, one with their very nice name, like near the fire under the stars, another one called Inquisition, very powerful. And you can expect, like in the first one, that would be very friendship atmosphere. You can see it like near the fire to talk with people who will help you. In another one, you will go to the race, you will fight with everyone. And you select based on the naming where you want to go, actually. That's again, that's exactly how it works with the real world. You select certain product because of number of association that they have, because of naming, because of look, tone and feel, depending on what is closer to you and what actually connected to your values. I think there are a lot that we can learn actually from the games, as this is something that uh, from one hand games were created like a reflection of the real life, from another hand that could be used as a sandbox. And uh, based on like, some learnings that I can get from the game, so best practices that I can highlight, one of them is teamwork, as each member of the team has a certain role. 
And when you're playing in a party, uh, then you should consider not only your own abilities and skills, you should always think about weaknesses and strengths of the whole team. And for example, if you're a damage dealer, your task is not only to damage, you should also look into your tank and don't get aggro from the boss as we all wipe. How it works, how we can translate it to the real life. That's like in every team, each member has a certain role. And to keep them motivated to understand what's the best and strengths, you should put it in the right way to make them work effectively together. Another one, what we can highlight from the games, that's strategic and fast thinking. There was an interesting case about it. There was a um, case study competition held by one of uh, the famous consulting companies. And the case was quite complicated as you have to take into account the different factors and uh, forecast the different scenarios and make like the conclusions of what may, might happen and how to avoid something. The one guy uh, has resolved uh, this case weaker than others and was like awesome result that was appreciated by the consultant company and when uh, he was asked like how you did it it was just simple answer look i am a rape leader in the world of warcraft i have to understand how 40 people may see doing something at the same time i have to predict their actions i have to think about different scenarios in very limited time and that gives me this strategic thinking and fast thinking at the same time if we can talk more about what we can get from the games that's the leadership leadership i would say and passions if i want to make the parallel with one of the class or character in the world of Warcraft to, to my work at Kaspersky, I guess that would be Shadow Priest. As sometimes you have to heal someone, sometimes you have to get some damage uh, to, to be on brand. But at the end, this is quite nice priest job to build the better future.